Welcome Easier Swing family. Today we're going to have a little look at something completely different. Today I'm going to look at my own game. Very selfishly, I'm going to talk to you about something that I've been working on, that I've just discovered fairly recently, played with a PGA Pro who helped me with something absolutely fantastic. And I'm going to show you what that is and see if it helps your game too. That's coming up in the video right now. Okay, so let's start on this particular video and see what we're talking about in coordination here. First of all, I was playing this game, I've had a couple of lovely games on the coast down in Kent and played with this particular PGA Pro. You'd know his son's name, he's a famous son who's a tour player, has been for a long, long time. I'm not going to share his name with you, but we had a very lovely couple of games together and he observed something in my swing that actually was like the missing piece of the jigsaw. I've been working very hard recently on trying to slow my swing because I've always had a tendency to get a bit too fast, a bit too aggressive in the downswing, too snappy. And so I've been working very hard to try and relax and slow down my swing. And I've worked really on trying to slow the club head down in the swing. I've tried to take out tension out of my hands and arms. And I've worked very hard on trying to get a, a much easier action into the downswing here. So taking all the stress and strain out of that. Now, it's been quite tricky. At times it has worked uh, and I've hit some really great shots. But for example, the other day when I played, I hit quite a lot of slightly blocky drives um, and a bit frustrating that I couldn't quite get the timing right. Um, and anyway, this guy watched me and over the course of the couple of days, he said, look, the problem you've got is you're trying to slow everything down in the hands, arms, club, wrists, all of that side of it, even your shoulders. He said, but the thing you're forgetting is your lower half. He said, you're not coordinating that with your lower half. And he said, what's happening is that's still going at the speed it was before when you were swinging too fast. And it made total sense to me. I suddenly realized that what, what had been happening, and this is something that a lot of you might find you struggle with at first, is as you release tension, as you actually become more relaxed, it changes your rhythm and your timing, your coordination. And so if, for example, you've always been a tight golfer and you've been stiff and you try and slow down and relax a little bit, you can't do that at the same rhythm you were doing it at before. Your rhythm has to adjust as well. So it has to become a slower action overall as you reduce that tension. But in particular with this, for me, I had to slow down the lower body. And what was made clear to me, he's a big, easier swing supporter, by the way. What he made clear to me was that uh, it wouldn't matter even if I released the club too early on the way down if this was slower. And so what he encouraged me to do was to try and get the feeling that my lower body was working much slower and that my left heel didn't get on the ground quite so quickly and that, that I could actually release the club a little earlier on the way down. So let's just have a look and see how that works. I'm just going to play a couple of drives for you. So if you've just found easier swing, just come and join the thousands of golfers around the world who are finding an easier way to play the game. It's not technical, it's not difficult, anybody can do it and you can improve your game in the simplest possible way. EasierSwing.com So hopefully you can see there that just with that slightly slower lower body action, it takes a lot of the aggression out of the shot. Uh, the other thing he said to me was, don't be frightened if you're releasing the club a little bit earlier than you felt you were before, because this is moving slower. In the past, what was happening was, because that was going a bit quick, if anything, I could get a little bit too late at times. And of course, what do you do then? You flip the wrists if you're feeling that that's coming in too late. So it kind of sets the whole thing out of sync. Just by slowing down the lower body, I've got the feeling that everything is much more connected, much more coordinated. And if those of you that know the easiest swing kind of foundations of the, of the whole thing that we work on, coordination is one of the six basics. And so it's really key to get your various parts of your body working in sync with each other. And perhaps, like me, 
you may not be aware that perhaps they are out of sync with each other. And so just have a little work on trying to slow down various parts, try and speed up other parts and just see what happens and try then to see if you can get the things coordinated. So let's just have another look at that. I'll show you one more time what I'm working on, which is, oh, yeah, before I hit this shot, the other thing he said to me, try and hit it 30 yards shorter. So what I'm trying to do is to see if I can slow down my lower body, it helps take a lot of the aggression out of it, and see if I can try and hit the ball 30 yards shorter. Let's see what actually happens. Now, what happened there was that I could feel that I was slower in the lower body. I'm trying to hit it 30 yards shorter. In reality, I feel as if I've hit it a lot softer than normal. It's gone just as far. So that's showing that the coordination is better. So where I'm taking effort out, I'm replacing that with efficiency. And that's really key to improving your game. So I hope you enjoyed that little session. I know it's a very short video, but I thought you might enjoy seeing that and seeing what I'm working on, seeing the benefits of improved coordination and what it can do for you. So I hope to see you in the next video and I hope you enjoyed that one. Don't forget, like and subscribe if you haven't done that already and please tell your friends as well. Thanks for watching.